located centrally in Northern Europe, in the Netherlands, lies a region that sparks the imagination of developers and entrepreneurs. It's known as Kemport Europe and stands out for its ideal properties for the sustainable chemistry of the future. An ecosystem of growers, industry, knowledge, innovation and government. Over 35,000 professionals, two integrated chemical clusters and an international seaport. All within just one hour's travel. It's as concentrated as that. All these partners have a shared ambition. A fast transition to sustainable chemistry. And you're welcome to join. Two chemical clusters perfectly complement each other. At chemical cluster Delphsile, building blocks are manufactured from green feedstock. In chemical cluster Emmen, these building blocks are processed into semi-finished goods for clean manufacturing industries. An abundance of green electricity arrives on the shores of Kemport, Europe, from the wind parks in the North Sea and surrounding countries to our Groningen seaports. With green electricity so close at hand, the electrification of our industries is picking up speed. And more and more green hydrogen projects are being rolled out as electrolyzers are being built, each of them aiming for hundreds of megawatt outputs in the next decade. No wonder we are officially called the Hydrogen Valley of Europe. We have a diversity in feedstock growing in the Kemport region adding up to a sizable 1.15 million hectares of rich, green, raw materials. And our international seaport is pivotal in receiving and distributing green feedstock. Plant material forms the green building blocks that are turned by Avontium into PEF bottles. And with serious scale-ups underway, they are changing the nature of chemistry. Green chemistry is intertwined with green energy. That's why bioenergy is produced in Kemport, Europe in substantial amounts. Fermentation of the residual material of sugar beets, for instance, produces green gas at the Kosen Beet Company. Eneco turns residual wood chips into biosteam to supply the bio-based companies at chemical cluster Delphsile with heat for their production. Biomass is also the basis for gasification, the step to green chemistry, turning biomass into syngas, a powerful substitute for fossil-based products in many processes in the chemical industry. Here too, serious scale-ups are underway. At Kemport Europe, we know how to employ CO2 as a feedstock. The Photonol company transforms cyanobacteria into highly efficient mini factories that run on sunlight. They convert CO2 into renewable chemicals for a broad use in circular plastics, detergents and healthcare products. At the Omega Green Farm, CO2 is being used to grow algae, the green feedstock for feed, plastics and chemicals. The Northern Netherlands is front-runner in plastic-to-plastic -plastic recycling. Several specialized companies recycle materials from waste streams on an industrial scale to make plastics from plastics. Apart from mechanical recycling, there is also chemical recycling. This is done by companies like Cure, where they manage to recycle almost every single type of used polyester. It makes sense that the Dutch National Test Center Circular Plastics was built here where new technologies for the industrial recycling process originate, on our way to 100% plastic recycling. Kemport Europe is actually a large and broad knowledge cluster. Campus Groningen has over 50,000 students in applied sciences and academic studies. Recently, the Nobel Prize for Chemistry was won here, on Groningen campus. Academia is working in close cooperation with the business community. It is happening right here, where all relevant parties, industry, research and education, are within an hour's driving distance. This combination of nature, talent, experience, business and ambition 
is unique on this continent, and you are welcome to join us. Kempord Europe, changing the nature of chemistry.